the art is also beautiful. Hi, my lovely tarot bumblebees. It's Ethany. Welcome back to my channel. And as you all know, I am a little or a lot tarot obsessed. And I am here today to show you my top 10 mass market, so big publishing company, tarot decks for summer 2021. Now, a lot of you know that I have a lot of decks. So this is not any reflection on your favorites or what's out there. These are simply the decks that I have found I've been working with this summer. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would join the Bumblebee family by clicking subscribe. And you know, if you don't wanna miss out on anything, hit that notification button. The first deck on my list is the Light Sears Tarot, and this is the Mass Market Edition. It is not the Indie Edition, even though I do have that as well. I wanted to buy a mass market edition of this deck so that I could shuffle like I usually do, which is quite hard, and not worry about damaging the deck. This deck is constantly on my working space. I use it a lot for clients, I use it a lot for myself, and it is just exquisite. The deck is diverse. It shows a lot of modern magic archetypes and people in real life situations. So there's a lot of great connections you can have with this deck because of that modern connection and the artwork is beyond stunning and i also love and recommend the guidebook so if you haven't got this deck already go out and grab it i don't think you will regret it at all the second deck on this list is the good karma tarot and this is a new deck in my collection i only got this I'd say about a month ago and i really love the modern artwork it's really easy to read with and it is also diverse the guidebook is easy to navigate and it can help you if you are a beginner for sure. It has that pop modern digital art vibe, which I obviously like because I have that sort of art in some of my decks as well. And I really believe this is great for the beginner tarot babe. The third deck on my list is the Heaven and Earth Tarot. This is another newish deck. I got it in the spring when it came out. This is a really stunning deck. It's a little bit more gothy vibes. It's much darker in regards to its color palette, but there is very rich and deep symbolism in here. You're gonna see a lot of symbols for planets and uh, the Hebrew letters. There's a lot of connection to the Kabbalah. And I really enjoy it for that fact. And I also just really like the artwork because that kind of vibe sits with me. Like sometimes I wanna read with a deck that's got a bit more of a misty, dark, kind of almost Gothic-esque sense. It's based on the Rider Waite, so it's very easy to read um, if you are using that system as a tarot reader. I love the correspondences in this deck and the art is very rich and very layered. The fourth deck on the list is the Tarot of the Divine. Now I've showed this deck before. I'm still obsessed with it, okay? That is why it's on this list. I love the mythology. I love the art style. I actually bought a second one of these as a backup deck. I have the big guidebook that comes with all the myths. So the book in here in the actual tarot deck is a book that shows you the different meanings of the cards, whereas the book that's larger has the mythology. I can't say enough about this deck. I really, really love it. And I think for me, the artwork really speaks to me and that's what makes this so fun to read with. The fifth deck on my list is the True Heart Tarot by Rachel True. And again, it's very modern. It's based on the Rider Waite Smith, so it's easy to read. It has a great diverse selection of people and body shapes. The world card in this, I mean, everything in this is extremely beautiful. And Rachel is a very well-known witch and tarot reader. And she's also, she knows her stuff. So you're gonna get her years and years of experience um, in this deck. And it's really very cool to have something from someone who is as iconic in our world as Rachel True. If you don't know who Rachel True is, she was in the craft. Okay, that's all you need to know about her awesomeness. I'm talking about the 1996 original. Anyway, this deck is beautiful. I love it. The sixth deck on this list is the Shapeshifter Tarot. This is by DJ Conway, Siriona Knight, and the artwork is by the legendary tarot and artist, tarot artist and artist, Lisa Hunt. Now, I only have the itty bitty one. I wish I still had the big book. Now, if anyone has the big book available and wants to sell it to me, please let me know. I am been hunting for it for years. 
This, like all of Lisa Hunt's work, is rich in mythology. It is a simply stunning deck. There is so much detail. You can literally take one card and spend so much time going into the, the layers and all the tiny little animals and all the symbols. And it's just, it comes alive as you read with it. This is a deep pathworking deck and it does have some changes in regards to the titles to really um, embody that but it is something that I use for personal development and personal path working myself. The seventh deck on the list is the Everyday Enchantment Tarot and I have spoken about this deck a number of times. This is by Poppy Palin who I just absolutely adore. It is a modern deck and I mean I've got quite a few modern decks on this list but I love seeing the tarot and the archetypes and the stories of the tarot in real life and how they kind of can manifest and be shown in real life. This is a big boy, this is a big deck, it's got a big guidebook as well, but the, I really like that about this deck because the artwork is so detailed, you can see it so much better because it is a larger card. This makes this deck really relatable and very grounded because you're gonna be able to see how your reading is can and may actually manifest in the real world and the guidebook is excellent. My eighth deck on the list is the Gorgon's Tarot by Dolores Fitchie and this is really a very unique deck. It is black and white mostly. There's a, some pops of red on a couple of the, of the cards. It's circular which makes it very different. I just really enjoy how it is so different. I have a number of circular decks and I really like working with circular decks even though they can be a little bit tricky to shuffle. It brings a really lovely innovation and it's a great guidebook and it's really fun and I recommend if you're looking for a black and white circular deck, you check it out. The guidebook is to the point, it doesn't beat around the bush, but you'll find you're gonna get quite a lot of information out of it and it is very deep. The ninth deck on my list is the Ancestral Path Tarot by Julia Cecilia Watts and she is another incredibly iconic um, tarot creator, like the Mahat Tarot, honestly, she's just fantastic. This is the second edition of the publication or the print run by US Game Systems. I have the first edition as well, but I popped this one on my list. It is a wonderful deck to work with, with ancestral work, past life readings, um, doing any journey work in regards to your ancestors or your past. It's also a wonderful deck to use with your spirit guides and guardians on the other side. The artwork is simply scrumptious. It is so beautiful. Her work is stunning. This is a multicultural and multi-generational deck and that is one of the things that I really love about it. You're going to find it helps you no matter where you're at in your journey through life and also access different memories and different wisdom from your ancestors. The art is also mwah, beautiful. Number 10 is the illustrated bestiary and I have the collector's box set. I'm so excited because it gets better. The book is also in here and the artwork is blown up because the cards are bigger and that, I'm, that makes me so happy because I really enjoy this series. It is, ugh, I just really love it. The artwork that Kate O'Hara has done, it blows me away. I could look at this deck all day. It has some of my favorite animals in it. And it's a beautiful, beautiful deck to work with animals. And I think this is probably my favorite animal deck right now um, and might be for a while. I've got the Herbery um, collectible box set and the crystal one is, at least the deck is coming out in the fall. So I'll be getting that one as well. If you want to watch me declutter my huge tarot collection, check out this video where I go through the painful process of saying goodbye to some of my decks and there'll be more of those in the future as well. So watch out for them. Thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments below what your favorite mass market tarot decks are at the moment. And I'll see you all next time, my lovely tarot bumblebees.